so the topic of this video is animating an x-ray layer. Uh, this is my sample. I'm going to use Cora from Avatar of Cora, and I'm going to x-ray to purple Cora. So this is what I want in my scene, and this is what I want revealed when I mouse over her. This is the back, this is what is shown. So to save some time, I've gone ahead and animated my Cora. There are seven different animations layered on this character, from blinking, to head movement, to hair movement, to swaying, to some clothing movement. Uh, I'm not going to go over that in this video. I have a video on the shake tool if you want to learn how to use that. Um, this video is about x-raying. So, we're going to add the x-ray layer. And you can come here and you have a choice of importing or browsing. There is a third option, but I'm not going to cover that just yet. Uh, so we're going to browse to the Cora purple, the x-ray layer. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, in order for a layer effect to be affected by other things, so in order for these movements to apply to this x-ray, the x-ray has to be on top. But now it doesn't work. So there's a problem with the x-ray layer in that it has to be the last layer. So it only gets animations if it's on the top, but it only works if it's on the bottom. So how do we fix that? Well, the answer is we have to sample from an animated layer, and that's the third option of importing. So you have import, browse, and you can also, it won't work with this layer because this is itself. You can actually just drag a layer into it and it will sample from that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this x-ray for now. And what we're going to do is duplicate these layers, because this will save all of the steps, all of the problems of duplicating all of these shake effects. You could bring your x-ray layer in and then go through every single one of these animations and add these animations to your x-ray layer, and that would work. Uh, the other option is you can swap the texture of the material, but if I do that, as you can see, because they're duplicated, they'll both change. So the only way around that is going into your scene.json file of your project and changing the model path, which I'm not going to cover in this video because what I'm about to show you will essentially skip all of that and be the fast way of doing it. So I'm going to set her back to regular, <clears throat> and I'm going to hide this top layer. So this is the layer that we're going to change into the x-ray. So we're going to add a blend texture. We're going to load in our x-ray texture, and we're going to set it to normal. So now it's basically just putting this texture over top of it. And like the x-ray, in order for this texture to incorporate all of these movements, it has to be above. So now we've basically just swapped the texture without doing any model path changing, without doing anything weird. We've added this texture to our character and animated it. If we turn this layer back on, we still have the original. So now we can, on this layer, we're going to add an x-ray effect, and we're not going to import, we're not going to browse, we're just going to drag our x-ray layer into the blend texture. It'll change to render target, and now you have something that works. And if we mouse over our character, we have an animated, fully aligned, fully animated, x-ray layer. So now you can hide this layer. You do have to keep it. It has to be somewhere in your project because it's being read by this. If I delete it, now it no longer works. I'm going to undo, and as long as this texture is here somewhere, it can be hidden behind things, it can be way at the back, it can be anywhere you want it to be, but it has to be somewhere. As long as it's there, the x-ray will work. And now this is your animated x-ray layer. So I hope that helps. The dragging into the blend texture selection, I didn't know about that for about eight months. So all of my old wallpapers, any of the x-ray ones, did not have animations because I didn't know you could do that. So I'm sure there's somebody else out there who's like, oh my god. Well, that's how you do it. That saves all of the steps of duplicating animations and model swapping and everything. You just duplicate your layer, add a blend texture, and then set your blend texture of the x-ray to the previous layer. Anyways, hope that helps.